Hello and welcome to Val's Crafty Creations. Thanks so much for stopping by today. In today's video I will be sharing with you more Memory Dex cards. The first one that I have is for the Memory Dex Crafts Facebook Swap Group. I chose to participate in the sports themed Memory Dex card and my partner was Kim with an R this time. And also in this envelope is our Memory Dex card swap for the Swappers Corner Facebook swap group. Partners for the Fall Gnome themed Memory Dex card. So let's go ahead and take a look at her creations. So for the sports theme, she chose football. Here we have some die cuts like the quarterback there and then we've got the receiver over here and I really like this large football it looks like she used a die cutting machine and then we have the word touchdown right across the middle of the football there I really like that brown frame going around so really nice her name is not on it anywhere so I will make sure that I add that little inserts here and here is her Fall Gnome Memory Dex card. It looks like she has used a digital kit. So we have like a farmhouse theme. We've got the wood background. All the little farmhouse themed items. Little birdhouse. The blocks that spell out home. Little pumpkin. And the chair. And we've got a pillow with a pumpkin on it. And that's popped up slightly. And then we have our gnome here, and he's popped up a little bit. She's used the wood grain paper, and then we have a little banner, Hello Fall. I like that, so I'll make sure to add her name to this one as well. A couple more awesome Memory Dex cards for my Memory Dex card box. We'll go ahead and add those right there. And I'm just going to stick these little notes in there too. So stay tuned, I'll be right back to share with you what I'm going to be sending out to Kim. First up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the sports theme Memory Dex card. In the items that Hubby got me, there was these 3D soccer stickers. Contemplated about those. Then I thought, well, I'll do a football themed one. But I've already done one in the past. As I looked through my stash, I found my bowling paper and some bowling stickers. Let's see here, we have all kinds of different odds and ends. We have this sheet here, which has a few left on it. That looks kind of a fun theme. And then a little ephemera piece here. I have these EK Success stickers, but I also have these and these. And then I end up finding I had these. If I do use these, then I'll be able to gift one. So I'm going to sit down with all these different supplies and see what I can come up with. I'm back to share my finished Boeing themed Memory Dex card. Also created a matching bag topper to go with it. So let me slide everything over here. Let's see. Of course I had to use my Heidi Swap Punch. And these deluxe cuts. Once I got them out of the package, it turns out they were just a little bit too large and a little bit on the flimsy side. I decided to skip those for later. And so I went with a piece of black paper and then ended up using the white. And then I used all but a little bit of the ball return on these stickers that are 
sandy lion and the girl I packed her with some white paper and then fussy cut her out and then this guy here he had this 300 score behind him I cut that off but then his mouth being open and his nose up in the air thought he was a little weird <laughs> so I opted out of those I was trying to fussy cut out the word split here and that didn't work out so I looked in my batch of items that hubby got me at the garage sales and I found these black creative memory stickers and I was wanting to redo the word split so then that's when I came up with this idea here and this little area was too open for me so I tried to spell out the word spare but there were no A's left so I went to my creative memories letter sticker stash and I did find the red letters then I decided that'd be okay to have the spare in one color and split in the other color and when these other people stickers didn't work out I looked over at the sticker sheet and saw this guy here I decided to go with that so I have the part of the lane down here at the bottom these silly little pins right here and then the trophy and the bowling bag here so and then I just stuck on a few Dollar Tree red jimmies and of course the bowling paper in the background worked out really great I wanted to put something at the top and like the let's bowl and that is popped up then I decided to use the gutter ball sticker on some black paper but then I went ahead and just adhered it down flat and then I liked the rest of the lane being on here showing just a little bit of the ball return with the ball had to be quite creative making all these different stickers work out so that was a lot of fun wrap it up with a little tissue and then I'm going to tie it up and gift some of my red seam binding that I purchased from Donna I have a bag to stick it in let me clear my desk and I will be right back to share my fall gnome themed memory decks card with you my memory decks card with its matching bag topper I used my I love fall collection from Echo Park and this time I went with craft paper as my base for everything right, so here is the collection so I took a look at the paper pad and I picked out this one here and then just a few of the stickers and then some of the other papers for my die cutting I had the orange enamel dots that worked out perfect there was six of those left this over here okay when I'm using six by six paper pads for my memory decks card what I do is go ahead and start by cutting the four inch square out of the corner and then I have the piece at the top which I use for my bag topper and then I have this piece here another little random piece so I have my paper going with the 11 by 8 and a half and I cut at 5 inches cut the 4 inch piece here and then I'm left with the 2 by well it's 8 and a half inch strip here so this is what we end up with we have this piece here and then I score at the two inches and I've been having to use these heavy duty bags hubby found me at his work and so those work out perfect I just go ahead and sandwich that in there and then I have that half inch at the bottom that I can fold under and then I have the two four by four squares and so then I bring in my 
Heidi Swap Punch and my corner rounder and or sometimes I leave the corner square and then the two by eight inch piece that half inch off the top so then with this piece what I can do is bring in my Stampin' Up tag topper punch and create a little tag and then I would add a little bit of ribbon up here at the top but that's a great way to use your eight and a half by eleven sheets of paper. It's an extra little piece that I could add goodies to. So put this off to the side. And then you can just save your scraps <laughs> just in the scrap bin. So here's my other supplies. I'll sand the edges, round the corners. I did some inking on the edges. And the die cutting I did was with this brand new little leaf set that I had purchased from Donna. So that was very handy. Out of our way there. So I have these little felt craft kits from Dollar Tree. And when I was looking for a gnome, I, I remembered I had this. And so I went ahead and grabbed it and I thought about using the pumpkin I just stuck with the gnome since he is a little bit too large and I only had one I took him to my copier and made some copies of him first I did 75 percent and he was four inches tall and went with 50 percent too small so I went back and I did 60%. So that's a great way to use items from your stash. If you only have one, just make a copy of it. Then I kind of fussy cut around them. And then I use this double-sided adhesive sheets. But if you have like a Xyron machine, that would work too. Make a sticker. And then I went ahead and stuck it up stuck them on some white paper and so they were super sturdy little gnomes and then I went around the edges uh, with my Stampin' Up! markers Put that over here and the Dollar Tree stickers just just a few of them I'll set that back in my stash for later I use my Lawn Fawn grass die and then in order to make my little felt guy here a little sturdier. I found some taupe colored craft foam in my stash. Now that it's sturdier, it will stand. And just had a lot of fun with the die cutting of the leaves, tucking them in different places. One of the little cut aparts from the collection there. And so the fall paper, I used the green paper for my grass. The uh, kind of orange colored paper for my maple leaves. And I thought the hedgehog sticker was really cute on the front. And so then I just found one of the stickers as part of the collection. So that's tacky there, but we'll stick this guy up inside there once I'm ready. I ended up creating two of the gnomes. We have foam tape on the back, foam tape between the gnomes. And then I fussy cut out his hands and layered them up. And this little fall sticker here came from the, it's part of the sticker here. So I fussy cut that off. One of the stickers, stuck it on some of that green paper and then just fussy cut around the best I could. So there's that. I have a couple of the little pumpkin greeting cards from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to put my note on one and then gift her one and I have a little welcome fall wood veneer piece from Dollar Tree and then a couple of the cut aparts from the collection I just thought I'd throw those in and those will be great backers for the wood veneer piece and then I thought this memory decks card with the bag topper would fit really nice in one of these leaf bags from Michaels 
And then I did have two packs of the Gnome stickers. So I'll stick those in. And I have a pumpkin bag. And then one of these poly mailers I purchased from Donna. Really cute. So when I wrap it in the tissue, I think it would look really nice to have this coffee stained seam binding wrapped around it. So I got that there. And then I haven't quite decided if I'm going to stick the gnome inside the package or on the outside of the package with the seam binding. Two more swaps ready to go out to my partner. Thanks again for stopping by today. You take care and we'll see you again soon.